how do you get your realtor to perform at their absolute best for you? There are indeed hacks to get the best results from your realtor. Today, I'm gonna to share the second five of 10 tips for you. I'm Keith with the Walker team of Intero Real Estate, continuing my series of optimizing your realtor's performance. If you missed my first five tips from last week, just jump onto my YouTube channel and check it out. Hiring the right realtor and getting the best out of your realtor can cross lines a bit. As I finish this series, they're gonna blend together somewhat. Let's get to it. Number six, be realistic. Real estate is a service industry, not a transactional industry. It's not point and click or a drop down menu system. As a whole, good realtors want the absolute best for their clients in every way. Sometimes it's just not possible to attain certain expectations. For example, a buyer wants to buy a home for less than a million dollars in Los Gatos, or a seller wants $4 million for their 1,200 square foot home on a 6,000 square foot lot in Campbell. These things just aren't realistically possible. While you'll find a realtor out there who will work to try to find that for you, it's never gonna happen. Additionally, a successful realtor will prioritize their clients based on timing, motivation, and reality. You'll get their best if you are realistic about your desires. Don't care how I want it now. Number seven, give feedback. This topic ties in more to number four of my previous video from last week. Let your realtor know how you feel about their efforts and performance. If they're doing a great job, let them know. If there's room for improvement, let them know that as well. Letting a realtor know where they're faltering in your expectations and where they're succeeding goes a long way. Number eight, research online. This is one of those points that crosses with the hiring process. Google your realtor. If an agent makes a claim, it should be backed up with data and reviews. You can measure everything a realtor claims. Number of sales, results, length in the business, awards, rankings, on and on and on. Research their reviews online. Google, Zillow, Yelp, Facebook, etc. Are these endorsements supporting the same thing you want from your realtor? Additional food for thought. If a realtor has a large history of sales, they should also have quite a few reviews. If that's not the case, ask yourself why not? Also, ask them about particular reviews and engage with them on their relationship with their clients. What type of online presence do they have? Can you find them everywhere you look? A piece of advice and thought to ponder. If a realtor doesn't have much online presence and you're hiring them to sell one of your most valuable assets, how much exposure do you think your home is gonna get? Number nine, trust your gut. So very simple and so very important. If something feels off, it probably is. However, if it feels right, it probably is. Most experienced realtors pay attention to this as well when working with clients. Number 10, be loyal, clear, and respectful. I saved this for last for a reason. It is the coup de grace. Believe it or not, Realtors are actual people. We have families, mortgage payments, business expenses, and responsibilities just like everyone else. As much as we strive to provide 24 seven service, it's not realistic to expect. We need days off, time with loved ones, and even vacations from time to time, believe it or not. In actuality, respecting your realtor's schedule leads to them being more productive and sharper for you. And, at the top of this list is loyalty. Let me be extremely clear. A realtor should earn loyalty. 
there's a misconception out there by some people that they'll get the best out of a realtor by leveraging multiple realtors at the same time, thinking that that will ultimately get them the best results. The opposite is actually true. Let me shed some light on this. Full service realtors don't work on a salary. They work strictly via commission and only receive a well-earned paycheck after fully performing for the client and helping them close escrow on their home. If you do indeed show your true loyalty to a realtor you respect, they will return tenfold, meeting you late sometimes and occasionally skipping their child's soccer game to get you into that home last minute. As a long experienced realtor, I'm lucky enough to be able to choose who I work with and who I won't. Loyalty is top on my list. Philip Seymour Hoffman says it best in this clip from the Ides of March. Now, there's only one thing I value in this world, Stephen, and that's loyalty. And without it, you are nothing. And you have no one. The bottom line, have high expectations from your realtor. You should. If you want a high level of service and results, apply these 10 tips. You'll thank me when you and your family are having a wonderful dinner in your new home. Thanks again for watching. Again, I'm Keith Walker. I'm here to educate and navigate, not speculate and fabricate. Pa pow!